What's going on you guys? My name is Trevor and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to do a modern slick back hairstyle. Alrighty, so here we go. You really only need one, maybe two products to get this hairstyle looking right. I'm going to use two just for the video's sake to kind of introduce some new products to the channel. Uh, but for my main styling product, I'm going to go with Hans DeFuco's Modified Pomade, which I don't actually have a normal size jar on me right now because I'm waiting to get um, my next order in. This little guy is going to do, it's just a sampler out of the uh, Deluxe Mini Kit. And then I'm also going to use this guy right here, which is wired by Rusk. And what this is going to do, it's basically just going to smooth out my hair and soften it up as well so that when I'm combing through it's not tugging and pulling and my hair is quite dead from bleaching it so that'll help kind of smooth it out and just easier to apply my actual product. But as for most hairstyles, you want to start with your hair totally wet. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to towel dry it um, just to get that extra water and weight and that moisture out of there just so we have some damp hair as our canvas. Alrighty, so now that we have our hair wet, if you guys do decide on using a, or two products, sorry, um, you can go ahead and apply the first one. I'm going to apply just a little bit of the, the wire here, um, not a whole lot of it, just because I don't want to overload my hair, but just a small amount like that. And I'm going to massage it into my hands and apply just all along my hair, not in any real specific order. Alrighty, so now with this product all through our hair, um, you're going to want to apply obviously your pomade now. And I did also, when I was towel drying my hair, I did towel dry it a little bit more than I usually would. Just because you don't want a whole lot of excess water in there, you want to get it fairly damp just so uh, it's still movable, but it's not going to flop around once you actually get your pomade in there. So you're going to take uh, quite a bit of your pomade. It's going to be about a marble size amount. And you can see it goes into like a white pasty kind of look and then you're going to want to apply it to your hair. Alrighty, so now that you have your pomade all through your hair, you're going to want to go ahead and take a wide tooth comb just to uh, saturate your hair totally with the product and comb it through so it's nice and even. Um, where is my comb? Okay, well, I don't know where my comb is, so this will have to do for today. Um, this is sort of the same thing, it just has some wider teeth here and some finer here. Uh, you're basically just going to want to, with the wide end of your comb, just comb your hair through and be gentle if you don't want, obviously, to tug your hair. And you're going to want to comb your hair straight back. Alrighty, so we have our hair going uh, just straight back now and what you can do if you want um, a little bit of volume in the front is just push your hair forward and then just kind of comb this upwards. So now we have uh, just a little bit more volume in the front of our hair, but what I like to do um, to get more of an off-center part sort of thing um, is just comb your hair through once more with your comb. And then on one of these lines where your comb made your hair part, just grab that and you're going to part your hair here. Alrighty, with our part we have something uh, that's left sort of like this. Um, if you do have that awkward length in your sides and you got these sides poking out over here, like I got, you can take a little bit more product and apply it to the sides just to slick that back as well. Alrighty, so I got my sides going straight back now, or as straight as I can get them. Uh, my hair 
doesn't really cooperate with cooperate cooperate with this sort of hairstyle, um, which is why I don't typically do it. But this is what I can do with it. So I will show you guys a little 360 view of what I got going on right now. Alrighty you guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. It was a little bit shorter than usual just because this uh, tutorial doesn't really take a whole lot of time to do. It only took me maybe three or four minutes to do, so it's uh, quite a bit shorter than the other tutorials that I have uploaded. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want to see some more, of course hit that subscribe button, stick around, it helps me out, and you guys get to see some more of my content that I'm going to be uploading. And uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, click that like button. Let me know what you guys want to see down below in the comments. And I will see you all next time. Peace.